the third niche discrete distribution that is covered in this section is known as the ZIPF distribution. So here is the setup. The ZIPF distribution models the relative popularity of a few members of a population and the relative obscurity of others. So the notion here is in this particular sentence you will notice that there are a few words such as the, of, and a which occur a lot and then there are other words such as obscurity, uh, members, popularity, zip that don't occur very often and that's just the way the English language works. There's just a few words that show up all the time in sentences and then there are a, a, a number, a huge number of other words that don't show up very often. Here are a couple other examples in addition to the English language where this occurs. <clears throat> there are just a handful of websites that show up and get used all the time. I'll put a couple in here. Google is one. CNN is another. There won't be many of these, but there's a few of them. Then what happens is you go all the way down and there is a constellation of websites that hardly ever get hit at all. And I'll go ahead and put on my home page here as one of those. Not many people visit that. But there are a whole bunch of these and not many of these. Let's go with library books. To start out, if you go to a library, there will be the current bestsellers. Not many of them, but there they are. And those will be followed by the classics. War and Peace, A Tale of Two Cities, that type of thing. And then not too many of these books here, even though they get most of the traffic, then there will be a whole bunch of books that are relatively obscure that never get checked out from the library. And I'll go ahead and put in my probability book as one such book. I don't know if anybody would actually go to the library and check that out. Here's another one, city size. There are a few very large cities. One of those cities is Rio de Janeiro. Another one is New York City, then there is Paris, etc. And there aren't many of these large cities. However, there are many, many, many small towns. I'll include my small town here of Elmhurst, where I grew up, Elmhurst, Illinois. And there are a lot of these, not many of these. When you go back to the English language again, you have these common words such as the, of, and, etc. But there are very few of these. There are a lot of these rather um, uncommon, obscure words. And here is a list of a few of them um, that you may or may not have heard of. Well, this leads to the diff ZIF distribution. What we want to do is come up with a probability model that handles the case where there are a few very popular items and then many, many obscure items, and that's taken care of by the ZIF distribution. Here it is. The probability mass function of the ZIF distribution is f of x is equal to some constant c, and that constant c will be defined down here, divided by x raised to the s power, and x goes from 1 up to n. Now these first couple, x equals 1, 2, and 3, these are the popular ones, right? Those are the words and, of, or the cities, Rio de Janeiro, New York City, etc. Then these ones out here are the obscure ones. So there are a total of n words, or n cities, or n websites, the first couple of them are the popular ones and those trailing ones out here at the end are the less popular ones. So the, param the parameter s controls how popular and unpopular things are, okay, controls the, uh, the mass values associated with all these values on the support. Um, n is a positive integer and this constant c is simply a mechanism, notice it is a function of n and s, it is simply a mechanism that makes this probability mass function sum to 1.